Hello, Clay. Stop calling us that. I've been quietly shipping them since they first met. Apart, they're so shrill, so whiny. But together, a symphony of self-congratulatory sodomy. I believed their tender man love was for the ages. And when they broke up, I was devastated. Why? They seem to be doing so well, and then suddenly it's over? I hereby pledge to do whatever it takes to get them back together and achieve my ultimate goal, to be flower girl at their fabulous gay wedding. Just hang on, porcelain. Help is on the way. I want to help you achieve your life's true purpose. I want to help you get Blaine back. Oh, that Karofsky character is a grade A no good Nick. He's a heartless bully. Since when have you cared about me and Blaine? Since, like, forever. This is insane. We should all boycott. Oh, no, 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 Porcelain. This is happening. Each team will perform at this invitational. Even if one show choir's co-director is kidnapped and held against his will, causing him to miss the performance. This isn't an elevator. You're trapped in an elevator with a bathroom. If you don't find a way out, you'll be forced to eat each other and then suffocate. But you have another choice. What? You and Blaine must kiss. If you kiss each other, you will be allowed to leave this room. That's ridiculous. I'm, that's easy. That's, that's all we gotta do? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here Blaine we go. and I are about to kiss. Ready? Mwah. There. No, not like that. I want to see you really go at it. Oh my god! Is that a real life bear cub? Uh, why is there a bear in here? Why is there a bear in here? I think I have a pretty good idea. Good authority that Dave Karofsky was attracted to bears. Except in this case, a bear refers to a burly gay man, not an actual bear. Met someone online. His name's Walter. Oh, porcelain. Oh, no, 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 no. You will not come out of this alive. This person is obviously a cannibal. I mean, look at you. You are exceptionally well marbled. If I were on a deserted island with everybody I knew, I would absolutely eat you first. It doesn't even have to be a deserted island. There could be any number of casual dining establishments and I would still opt to eat you. A mouth-watering, delicious corn-fed porcelain rump roast. Okay, I'm leaving. Well, good evening, gentlemen. My name is Susan and I will be taking care of you tonight. Shall we start with something to drink? Perhaps a Shirley Temple in a sippy cup for Sunny? Or how about a chalky can of Ensure, enriched with calcium to fortify those brittle bones? Now, is your great-grand-uncle in charge of his faculties, or are you going to be feeding him? Because I'll just need to alert the bus staff that I might be changing an adult diaper. Excuse me. I can hear everything you're saying. Well, then allow me to personally thank you for being part of the greatest generation. All right, here. Wait, you guys know each other? Yeah, we went out a few times. Wait, yeah. is that Dave Karofsky? It's Patrick. Hey, 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 what's up, hey, What the hell is going on? Hey. Um, well, good evening, gentlemen. David, I took the liberty of asking every man you've dated to join you for dinner tonight with Blaine. But that's not all. I brought you both something. Oh, what do you have there? Well, it is your online genealogy profile. I submitted DNA samples from your hair follicles that I stole from the lint trap and your washing machine, and I think you're going to be very surprised with the results. It turns out you share a great-great-grandfather, one Thomas Anderson, watchmaker from Philadelphia, which means the two of you are third cousins. You can't be serious. DNA doesn't lie. Well, have a wonderful evening. Just remember, you're about to have sex with a family member. This is Clay, and theirs is a love for the ages. But Coach, they're barely looking at each other. Well, that's because their chemistry is so intense, Becky. If they were actually to make eye contact, oh my, the emotion would be such they'd have to disappear behind the nearest dumpster and just hump, 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 hump. Where did he get all these 
video clips. I have cameras everywhere, Becky. But if it's like a dream sequence, how could you film that? Okay, Becky, shut up. You're ruining this, honey. But it looks like they don't even like each other. Sweet, simple Becky. You have so much to learn about love. What are you talking about? I have a hot boyfriend. Look at them, Becky. Have there ever been two human beings more meant for each other? Oh, and yet somehow hackneyed circumstance and a pudgy ex-bully have somehow gotten between them. I need to get these two into a small, confined space where they're forced to gaze into each other's eyes. And then, Becky, then the stinky frottage will commence. Don't fight the claim, romance. The choice is yours. But I, I do not want to get back together with Blaine. Listen to you. That's not the porcelain I know. Clay, will you come with me, please? We have a bit of a situation. Nice try, Sue, but we're not going to fall for an elevator in a barn trick. Oh, no, Porcelain, don't thank me for forcing you back into the arms of Tiny Salminio. Listen, I swear to you on Will Schuster's future grave, this is a legitimate Britann emergency. Okay, so we should actually thank you. Well, then thank me. Thank you. Don't actually thank her. So... Plain is no more, huh? Okay. Well, guess I'll have to find a new hobby, like operating a bookmaking outfit that runs the numbers on which of your current boyfriends dies first. I want my dream back. Okay. I still don't get what you're talking about, though. Yes, you do. Just think about it. What Brittany is saying, Blaine, is that out of our love, for your love, we have conspired to deceive and manipulate and, yes, imprison you briefly, all to reach this moment. We have two tuxes. Do we have two grooms? Well, we don't even have rings. Oh, I got that covered. Oh, hello, porcelain. Mrs. Porcelain. Live, love, <laughs> prosper. And I've got to come up with some new shipper fodder. Mm, how about Puxades? How's that? Or Faberi. Can't get enough of the lesbians.